इंटर टेक्सचुअलिटी थीसिस एक्नॉलेजमेंट्स आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्रेस माई वार्मेस्ट थैंक एंड डीपेस्ट ग्रेटिट्यूड टू माई सुपरवाइजर डॉक्टर शाहिदा फहीम हूस अकेडमिक इंसाइट एंड एनर्जेटिक सपोर्ट वर फंडामेंटल एंड गेटिंग द वर्क ऑफ द ग्राउंड इन द फर्स्ट सपोर्ट इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस हर गाइडेंस एंड स्कॉलरी एडवाइस एज द वर्क प्रोग्रेस वर इन वैल्यूबल एंड हेल्पिंग मी क्लैरिफाई मेनी ऑफ द पॉइंट्स रेस्ड इन द थीसिस माई थैंक्स आर ऑल्सो एक्सटेंड टू डॉक्टर नादिया जोसेफ फॉर हर ग्रेट हेल्प एंड वैल्यूबल सजेशंस आई एम ऑल्सो ग्लेट टू एक्नॉलेज अ डेप्ट ऑफ प्रोफेसर हना हसनैन हेड ऑफ इंग्लिश डिपार्टमेंट फॉर हर सब्सटेंशियल सपोर्ट एंड मच नीडेड इंकरेजमेंट I am deeply grateful to my parents who provide me with a emotional support and self confidence. They have been helpful and encouraging for years of consistent patience. Thanks are also due to anyone who offered me sound advice during the preparation of this thesis. Table of content. Preface. सबसे पहले तो preface पढ़ेंगे फिर है chapter one the notion of intertextuality. Chapter two है Jane Eyre and White Sargasso C. an internal study in relation to the post colonial discourse chapter 3 the gulliver travel and the new gulliver an intertextual study in relation to the feminist discourse conclusion work seated abbreviations je is for jan air w dot ss is for white sergeso c gt is for gulliver travel and ng is for the new gulliver prefers The relationship between literary texts can be considered a new field of the study in literary theory. The texts used to be studied and dealt with both separately and internally, shaking the stability of this critical approach. The French semiotician Julia Christevi introduced the term intertextuality in the late sixties. Intertextuality is the weaving. of one literally text into another forming a kind of new articulation the core idea of intertextuality is that all texts are intertext each text is exist in a vast medium of text which it should be engaged in dialogue intertextuality is one of the basis and requirement of all communication since all texts and discourses are always built upon existing cultural code and norms texts are therefore instrumental in the construction of other texts theorists of intertextuality problematize the state of authorship believing that texts are con constructed more by their intertextuality than by their author for them texts provide context within with other texts can be created and interpreted intertextuality does not mean the more difference or elaboration on a prior text its function extends from quoting to rewriting through which the new vision and the new discourse are highlighted the only way for a writer to negotiate with past literature and express his likes and dislikes to insert himself into the series of texts with constitute this literature by rewriting them this show how the notion of intertextuality act as a flexible tool in the hand of author to reconstruct their precursor thoughts to challenge preconceived ideal and initiate new ones actually important is intertextuality for the reader who is consider as the third dimension of the textual space alongside the writing subject and the exterior text according to theorists all meaning draw from a text are partial and provisional and come as a result of cultural and social background for the reader therefore the intertextual process requires a new articulation on part of the writers as well as an active participation on part of the reader this thesis is divided into three chapters and a calculation chapter 1 present a theoretical study of the nation of intertextuality and shows how the term problematizes the idea of a text having boundaries it draw upon theorist such as julia kristeva mikhail bakhtin ronland barthes and jonathan fuller through whose work the term emerged in its full fledged force the chapter also explained that intertextuality is much a broader term than influence as it activates the comparative principle and offers the reader and pleasure of recognition furthermore the chapter illustrates 
demonstrates how functional intertextuality is. In opening up prior text for a free interplay of relation, a process through which writer can challenge deeply rooted discourse and establish new ones. Chapter 2 studies the intertextual relationship between Charlotte Bronte, Jens' era 1847, and Jens' race, White, Sergeso C. 1966, and shows how race provides the hidden account of the first Mrs. Records to reveal the other side of Bronte's story. As a post colonial writer, Reyes establishes an intertextual encounter with a prior text for, from the British Canon. From the British Canon, the two disconstructs the stereotype of people of color occurred in Western portrayals by deconstructing such orientalist stereotypes the reader can come to see how literary representation of other have misrepresented to colonial as devious dangerous and subhuman while chapter 2 explore how intertextuality is functional in a post colonial perspective chapter 3 studies intertextuality in a feminist context the same idea of defending the other through establishing an intertextual encounter with past literature is also stressed in chapter 3. The chapter studied the intertextual relationship between Jonathan Swift, Gulliver Travels, 1726, the Asin Dottie the New Gulliver, 1980. Chapter 3 shows how Dottie Reich, depending on the persona of Gulliver, present the idea of six rule, revolver to the unable, unveil the injustice of the party ritual discourse the chapter also clarifies how intertextuality is employed in the feminist theory to change women distort image finally the conclusion clarifies how the notion of intertextuality can be used in different contexts to initiate new discourse in the conclusion it is clear that the two discourse emerging from the intertextual process and question work in parallelism is they both deal with the other who live in complete alienation and silence on the margin of society that defend the other the intertextual encounter works through post-colonial and feminist perspective in chapter two and the three respectively if, if post-colonialism is used to signify a position against imperialism so is feminism to establish a challenging stance in the face of patriarchy the conclusion also show how race and Dodi rights use the notion of intertextuality to make connection with past literature and reveal the contradiction of prevalent discourse in order to change the reader's eximotic attitude towards their neutralization. The notion of intertextuality literally takes our complex culture production that relate, that relate to and renew each other. On this notion, Hengis the term intertextuality, which indicates the relationship between literary texts, especially. This term was first introduced by French semiotician Jolia Karistreva and was received by immediate success in the late 60s. The term refers to the way in which my in which any one literary text in cause or the or is linked to other texts either by direct quotation and allusion or simply by being a text. The notion of intertextuality is based on the idea that all cultural production are work in progress and all of them remain so after publication and even after the death of their author. Book 4. Intertextuality is the general condition by which it is possible for a text to be a text. The whole network of relations conventions the expectation by which the text is defined in desire in language. Julia Kristeva defines the text as the premutation of text and intertextuality in a space of a given text. Take from other texts interest the neutralize one other. Kristeva 36. Proposing the term of intertextuality, Julia draw upon Mikhail Bakhtin notion of dialogism. That is the necessary relation of any utterance to other utterance to indicate a text construction from 
tax. Nevertheless, this is not a matter of inconvenience, but of the multifarious and historically historically valuable variable relations between work as heterogeneous textual production. The term intertax has been used variously for a tax drawing on other texts, for a tax thus drawn upon, and for the relationship between both the concept of intertextuality, then donate the interdependence of literary text and views literature in terms of a set shifting relationships which are never stable but which are all temporary mobile even if incorporated and mediated through the relatively stable written text Howard Hawthorne 9 this is because literature as a whole is pre perceived as a self-referential system on structure. Gray 152. Intertextuality consists of two general features. First, there are explicit reference made in one text to the other text including anagram, allusion, adaptation, translation, parody, pastic, imitation and the other kind of transformation. Secondly, there are the latent semiotic relationship that that exist always and everywhere within the language. Many modern critics argue that all texts are necessarily related by language and that there is no such thing as an absolute text. For relaunch Barthes and theory of the text, it is the fact intertextuality that allows the text to come into being. Any text is a new tissue of past citation, bits of code, formulate rhythmic models, fragments of social languages, etc., pass into the text and are redistributed within it for there is always language before around the text 1981 to uh, 39. Writing is always an iteration which is also a reiteration or rewriting which foreground the trace of various texts it both knowingly and unknowingly plays and displays. This means that however forcefully the literary texts may differ in form or content or both, they are indissolubly, indissolubly tied up with each other through language. In his Easy the Death of the Author, Barthes declared that it is language which they speak not the author. The right to write is to reach the point where on the language act performs and not me. At this point, it is important to draw upon the Russian thinker Mikhail Barkatin, who believes that all uses of language are inevitably colored by textual press from the past. In particular, for Bakhtin, all language has been used before continues to carry and resonance of former use so that any utterance evolve a dialogic mixture of meaning and intentions only biblical Adam spoke a language untenched speech of others because he had no predecessors henceforth as Bakhtin puts it our speech that is, all our utterance, including creative work, is filled with others' words varying degrees of otherness or varying degrees of our honest, varying degrees of awareness and detachment. These words of other carry with them their own expression, their own evaluative tone, which is assimilate, assimilate rework, and re accentuate. Intertextuality subvert the concept of the text as self-sufficient, confirming instead the ideal that all literary production takes place in the presence of the other texts. They are, in effect, palimpsest. Intertextuality provides that all texts are related to the other texts. Indeed, not only does it demonstrate the universality of the pattern of illusion quotation, cross-reference, parody and parallelism which has always kept us scholars in business and, and in research grants. 
it also shows philosophically that authors do not write writing it is all but that writing writer's author bradbury however this should not tempt one of one to confuse intertextuality with influence since both concept are to eight opposite pole while influence is conservative and sees literally history as the continually a fixed set of norms intertextuality is progressive and regards later texts as positive adventures over literature of the past beside influence requires imitation and leads to passively that is not at all the case within intertextuality which requires recreation and lead to creativity the intertextual relation in which the author borrows or refers or to some features from an earlier text is not a mere citation or repetition in the process the author transform these features affirming some and denying the others in order to suit the characteristic of his own work and to assert his own right to speak an easy such as work dialogue and novel kesteva broke within traditional notion of the author influence and the text says sources posting that all signifying system and constitute by the manners in which they transform earlier signifying system any text he argues is constructed as a mosaic of quotation any text is the absorption and transformation of others kristeva kristeva finds it more important to scrutinize how the structure of text comes into begin being then confine all attention to structure itself for her this requires place the text within the network of previous san chronic texts of which it is a transformation indeed kristeva aims to suggest that no text is just itself that all the dialogic even when they do not is explicit explicitly allude to any other however kristeva most valuable contribution to the debate on intertextuality is the idea that an intertextual citation is never innocent or direct but always transformed condensed or edited in some way in order to suit the speaking subject's value system to this idea one can add what the american deconstructionist harold bloom think of the poet attitude to his precursors bloom believes only in the strong poet whose relation toward an precursors is high or oi deeper a mixture of love and reverly blossom argues my concern is only with strong poet major figure with the pre- persistence to restel with their strong precursor even to that 1973-5 this means that writer do not have to take their precursor ideas as unquestionable and that they can correct these ideas by their own writing bloom argues that the novice writer can always try to appropriate the and reshape and precursors meaning in a way that serves to advance his her own perspective at the expense of those the those of the precursor as bloom observe the mighty date return but they return in our color and speak in our voices at least in part at least in movement that that testify our persistence and not to their own 1973 141 according to bloom strong poetry is strong by virtue of a kind of textual un usurpation 1976 this goes hand in hand with kristeva's insistence on this transposition and this new articulation in the def- definition of intertextuality she affirms the term intertextuality denotes this transposition of one several science system and to another and asserts that the passage from one signifying system to another dim- demands a new articulation kristeva 5960 
therefore it is clear that kristeva does not merely point to the way text echo each other but to the way that discourse or science system are transposed into one another so that meaning in one kind of discourse are overlaid with meaning from an other kind of discourse this in fact it quite concerned with what mikhail bakhtin calls dialogic relationship according to bakhtin the discourse of fiction expect explicitly to implicitly courts other discourse within it and attempting to imagine the experience of reading and writing within this new form of text one would do well to pay heed to what bakhtin wrote about the dialogue novel which he claims is constructed not as the whole of signal single consciousness observing other consciousness as object into itself but it is but as a whole formed by the interaction of several consciousness none of entirely becomes an object for the other 90 8418 this sheds light to light on the discourse that can be initiated through intertextuality and leads one to think of a text as a dialogue which other texts bakhtin nations of the importance of mixture of different discourse type in novel is centrally based on a strong recognition that the point is not more presence of several linguistic style the point is the dialogue angle at which they are juxtaposed and counterposed in the work 1984 150 251 this boundary crossing is what kristeva considered as the crucial functional functions of intertextuality to confirm this function one should draw upon janathan kuller who assert for our discussion to be significant it must stand in the relationship to a body of discourse and enterprise which is already in place and which create the possibility of new work 1981 to 101 Euler further explained that by a prayer body of discourse he means all the other project and thoughts which it implicitly or explicitly takes up prolonged sites refused or transforms 1981 to 112 with this much importance placed on discourse which in itself can be seen as a exist- extension of the already powerful intertextuality as a stringent definition of this last major concept of structuralism is needed reland roland barthes merely sees it as an extension of speech a combination thanks to which the speaking subject can use the code of the language with a view to expressing his personal thought 1967 15 other definition of discourse are more precise a discourse is a set of textual arrangement which organize and coordinate coordinate and coordinate the action position and identities of the people who produce it tweet is 135 our discourse is the property of language which mediate the interpersonal relationship which must be carried by an act of communication follower Fifty-two discourse thus does not does nothing less than enable us to function as part of our society. An absence of discourse would means the absence of language itself. The definition of discourse seems to have much in common with the process referred to by Clude Levy Stiers as biological. Here, the bricoler is a short of junk. man who randomly collects odd bits and scraps without any particular planes and then uses those diverse material as the need arises the concept of pre college has gained considerable the concept of pre college has gained considerable prominence in recent critical discourse the pre college work with the science and construct new arrangement by adopting is existing signified and signifier levy stereos observed that the first aspect of pre college is to construct a system of parism with the fragment of syntactic chain leading in turn to new syntactism 1966 to 150 
Jacques de Rida suggests that due to the necessity of borrowing one's concept from the text of a heritage which is more or less coherent or ruined, it must be said that every discourse is brie color de Rida, 285, confirming Kristeva's belief of the in inescapability of intertextuality. Spavik views that the reason for Brie College is that there can be nothing else 1976 exists, identical to that of intertextuality of the per practice of Brie College can be also seen as <clears throat> operating through several key transformation addition, deletion, deletion, substitution and transposition. Therefore, it is only as part of prayer discourse, as birds observe that any text drives meaning and significance. For him, it is the intertextuality of fiction, its relation to the other texts which marks makes it readable. However, intertextuality should not be limited to the point where it is a relationship between a given text and it its precursor denying its cultural context. This is not all the eliminating in the study of intertextuality because as Kuehler puts it, intertextuality becomes less a name for a work relation to particular prayer text than this, this designation, designation of its participation in the discursive space of a culture. The relationship between our text and the various language of signifying practice of a culture and its relationship to these texts which articulate for it is its possibilities of the that culture. Like Luke Cooler, Thes Mar Morgan suggested that intertextuality shift attention from the trait constituted by author work tradition to another constituted by text discourse culture. By shifting our attention from the triangle of author work tradition to the of text discourse culture intertextuality replaced the evolutionary model of literary history with the uh, structural or synchronic model of literature as science system. Morgan 239. Renate R. Montner, Montner, Renate R. Montner, Westermans further assert intertextuality arises when literary texts connect with other literary texts with non literary texts and with broadly conceived cultural context. It comprises a historical component in the relation between new culture and production, and earlier ones include a notion of activity by any consumer on the text with which new ones are intertextual. Similarly, Bakhtin's insistence upon contextualizing text in its cultural and social discourse marks an important contribution to the, to the dual function of intertextual. This is because Bakhtin believes that the meaning of the text, of text is dependent on its social context and that the world, or rather utterance itself, is bound up with social implication. Bakhtin and Kristeva shares an insistence that texts cannot be separated from the large cultural or social textuality out of which they are constructed. All texts, therefore, contains with them, within them the ide ideological structure and struggle expressed in society through discourse. The dual function of intertextuality is crucial in the activity of interpretation assigned to the reader who is thus given the chance to read on two levels namely the literary and cultural level at the same time. In that context, Catherine Bethley confirmed the intertextual relation of the text and never plurally literary function draw not only on other fiction but on the knowledge of its period, discourse and circulation which are themselves site of power and the contest of power, the active role of the reader in the intertextual encounter in words. Attention since it is clear that the process involves layer of complex complexity. Intertextuality tends to free the literary text from the psychological, sociological and historical restriction, opening it up to an infinite play of relationship.
intertextuality also carries within the within with it the idea that individual text is read in a manner determined by the cross reference to other texts which have served as models of contrast in doing so it invites the reader to become a very effectively partly in the intertextual encounter all literary work are rewritten if only unconsciously but the societies would read them in eglaton 12 it throws up problems for the reader and induces him or her to make a selective relation of the text.